now that we have set up the basic HTML document let's add some formatting let's add some paragraphs that's done by adding p tags okay let's do uh, let's define each one section as paragraph right we'll do this as p and end with slash p and uh, if you save this and refresh you should see that it's been created into a separate paragraph right then we'll do p slash p as this is separate uh, paragraph same thing here in with slash p uh, sl start with p and with slash p similarly I'm going to do quickly Okay, now that we have added all the paragraphs, we'll save it and refresh it. Now we can see it's been formatted to show each one as a paragraph. Now I really don't want this to be as a paragraph. This is actually a title. I want this to be a header. Now HTML provides H1 to H6 headings where H1 is the biggest and H6 is the smallest. So I'm going to use H1 for this right h1 is h1 tag highest header tag and save it and refresh this right okay now we can see we have added h1 tag which has become bold and which has become a header of the document you can add as many but uh, let's make this like an h3 tag so it looks better right and you can save and you can refresh Right. Now you can s uh, see that we have added H1 and H3 and you can also see that we have ended with slash H3. Now let's see what happens if I don't end it properly. Right. I'm not, I've started H3 but I've not ended with H3. So let's save it and refresh it. You can see that the H3 since it's not ended it continues till the end of the document. The document doesn't break as such, it doesn't throw in any, any error, but uh, you know, the formatting goes haywire. So it's always important to close that tag. Right, I will just close the tag H3 and save it and refresh it for it to go back. Right, this is how you, uh, you know, tag. Um, a part of the document as paragraph and part of the documents as you know uh, headers. Now let's say you want to make a hard break in, inside a paragraph. You don't want to create another a paragraph but you just want to break or what I mean is insert a line break. So let's say here you want to insert a line break. Either you could you know insert a paragraph or uh, which would actually make it a separate uh, you know paragraph but I don't want it to be I just want it to be a brand line break so you can insert line break that's done by adding a BR tag now like I told you BR tag is one of those special tags which doesn't need end tag or a start tag it will just have one tag which will also work like a end, end tag because there's a slash end. now like I save this and if I go here and refresh you can see there's a line break here and which is very different from you if from your paragraph right so sometimes you might just want line break you could use break tag right and then um, you might want to make some text as bold and some text as underlined and some text as italicized you can do that using respective you know tags let's say I'm just reading this uh, you know I want to make this word satisfactory as bold so you use something called strong s-t-r-o-n-g start with that 
and end with strong right so end with so it should apply that to this text let's see what happens i'll just save this and refresh you can see that that's been made into bold now you can also similarly underline let's say you want to underline skill so you can do that by u slash u right i've saved it refreshing it you can see here skill is underlined right you can also um, emphasize it or italicize it like for example here let's say em and slash em right and save it and refresh it you can see that it has been italicized or emphasized now we can also combine more than one for example i want to make this strong which is bold and underlined right so you can just combine those two together and do the same thing right uh, let's add that u slash right and save it you can see it's been both bold and underlined it's important to start and end first like because it's nested like a tree uh, start with strong then start with u and end it with u first because we want to end and then end with strong right that order should be maintained so this is how we it lies there are other things like division tag which doesn't have any visual effect but it creates a special section that can be used to design later for example you want to create chapters or you want to create sections within the chapter that you want to style it in a different way then you can use a div tag for example here i would want to convert this whole thing into a div right like a separate div and you might want to give a name or id to it like you know to identify it if you save this you can refresh it and see there is no visual change because div in as such doesn't add any visual change to it all it does is actually just creates a separate section that you can design uh, or rather style later yeah that's it in the next section we'll see how to link